Know your marine stuff. Fuel oil changeover procedure. In 2015 shipping is taking a big step towards becoming greener. Stricter limitations on sulfur emissions, SOX, in emission control areas, ECA, will significantly reduce the industry's footprint in terms of pollution from the 1st of January onwards. When ships pass through an ECA, their fuel oil will only be allowed to contain a maximum of 0.10% sulfur, Marple Annex V. Vessels powered with heavy fuel oils will need to switch to using ultra-low sulfur marine gas oil, MGO, before they enter an ECA area and, of course, will switch back to HFO after they leave. It looks simple, but need too much care and preparation to do it. Following are some points. You need to take care when doing these operations. The following parameters need to be taken into account. 1. Temperature. As the two fuels operating temperature differs by about 100 degrees, the changeover may cause a rapid fall in temperature and increase the danger of thermal shock to the equipment. If not handle with care. 2. Viscosity lubricity. HFO and MGO have very different consistencies. The fuel systems need to account for this difference in viscosity during operation to avoid fuel pump failures and leakages. Lubricity is closely related to viscosity. If viscosity is too low, this may cause a lack of lubricity. 3. Fuel incompatibilities HFO and MGO are mixed in all ratios during the changeover procedure. The fuels can become incompatible in clog filters, which may cause the engine to shut down. 4. Cylinder lubrication, acidity Decreasing the sulfur content of fuel has an impact on its acidity. The amount of alkalizing Cylinder oil needs to be adjusted to avoid excessive engine wear or even damage. 5. Contamination Tanks formerly used for HFO need to be cleaned thoroughly before switching to MGO otherwise. There is a risk of fuel contamination and failing to comply with the SOX regulation. Applicable regulations Emission control areas. Blue color indicates SOX ECA. Green color indicates NOX and SOX ECA. Changeover procedure. This changeover should be followed by the right manipulations taking into consideration the right place and the right moment to prevent any unfavorable loss of the expensive low sulfur fuel. At this process, the crew is guided by the LSF calculator. All modern ships carry a low sulfur fuel LSF calculator which is used to indicate the accurate time that the changeover should commence. By the time the vessel approaches an ECA, the LSF calculator requires following info. 1. The sulfur content of high sulfur fuel currently in the system. 2. The sulfur content of low sulfur fuel. 3. The fuel capacities of the main engine system, including settling tank, service tank, main engine. 4. Capacity of transfer equipments, fuel oil transfer pump, and fuel oil separators. Once the changeover time is calculated, which also accounts the time of intermixing of two. Different sulfur grades oil, let's suppose 48 hours. 
Following action are to be taken 48 hours prior to changeover. One. Ensure that no transfer of high sulfur fuel is carried out any further to settling tank. Two. Ensure that the low sulfur bunker tank steam is open for transfer and purification of fuel should not have any problem. Three. If two separate settling tanks are present, one can be dedicated to low sulfur oil, which will reduce the changeover period. Four. Keep running the separator till the settling tank level reaches minimum. 5. If filling of service tank with HSFO increases the calculated time period of changeover. Then stop. The separator and drain the settling tank. 6. Settling tank can be first drained into fuel oil overflow tank. And then the oil drain can be. 7. Once the settling tank is drained from heavy sulfur oil, fill the settling tank with low sulfur oil via transfer pump. 8. As the separator are stopped, service tank oil will be consumed by main engine system. 9. Remember not to lower the level of service tank below which the fuel pumps cannot take suction. 10. Start separators from settling to service tank which will be now filling low sulfur oil. 11. Fill the LSFO oil into settling and service tank as per the quantity required to cross the ECA. Calculated by the chief engineer as per the voyage plan. Fuel oil change over for auxiliary engines on boilers. Boilers. 1. Shut the steam to the fuel oil heaters at boiler. 2. When the temperature drops below 90 degree. Open the diesel oil service tank valve going to the boiler system. 3. Shut the heavy oil valve for boiler system slowly and observe the pressure of the supply pump. 4. Check flame and combustion of the boiler. 5. Let the heavy oil outlet be kept open and diesel oil outlet not be open for some time. 6. This is to ensure no heavy oil goes to diesel oil system. 7. When the line is flushed with diesel oil, open the diesel outlet valve and shut heavy oil outlet. Valve. Auxiliary engines. 1. Generators must be changed over from one grade to another while at load as this will help in better flushing of the system. 2. If only one generator is being changed over, keep running another generator for emergency. Purpose in case something goes wrong. 3. Shut the steam to the fuel oil heaters at boiler. 4. When the temperature drops below 90 degree. Open the diesel oil service tank valve going to generator system. 5. Open the local diesel inlet valve and shut the heavy oil inlet valve simultaneously and slowly. By keeping an eye on the fuel pressure and changing only one generator into diesel with the help of separate diesel pump. Let the heavy oil outlet be kept open and the diesel oil outlet kept shut till the system is flushed thoroughly. 6. After some time open the diesel oil outlet and shut heavy oil outlet. 7. If the complete system is to be changed into diesel oil, open the diesel oil inlet valve too. Generator supply pump simultaneously closing the heavy oil inlet valve. 8. If the return line is provided to diesel service tank, open it after some time. Simultaneously. Closing the heavy oil return only after the system is flushed properly. Main engine. Once the changeover procedure is completed, 
remember to change the HMI setting of cylinder. Oil lubricator system, alpha lubrication, or change over the cylinder oil daily tank suitable for low sulfur operation. Record keeping. The changeover procedure must include recording of every action and onboard oil quantity as a proof of doing the job correctly. The crew should keep the level of the existing fuel right before changeover begins. Additionally, the orb and engine logbook should be completed containing all necessary information of the process, such as the date, time, and position of the ships during operations. Bridge and engine logbook should be completed as required in order to provide information for time. Start completion and position of the operation. Note that the completion position should be just out of the limit of designated area.